Hello, I'm Nikki Darby and this is Ali Berkez. Hello. We're two of the speech and language therapists at the Michael Palin Centre for Stammering um, and part of our role is looking after the new referrals that come into the centre. Okay, so what we wanted to do was to navigate you through the different ways that you might access support for your child or teenager who stammers. So the first thing to do is to find our website. So if you type in the Michael Palin Centre for Stammering, um, we'll come up in your search. Once you find your way to our website, um, we'd like you to click on the refer tab in the corner where you can refer your child. And then what should come up is this page, refer to the NPC. And if you scroll down a little way, First of all, you'll see a step-by-step -step referral guide. This will help you to know which of the tabs to use further down. But we are also going to talk about them with you now. So if your child is from Camden or Islington, or is over seven and from Newham, we are the local speech and language therapy service for stammering for your child. So you can refer your child directly using the first tab. And that's for children in Camden, Islington and Newham who are over seven. Okay. If your child lives somewhere else, and you obviously live somewhere else as well, um, we ask that in the first instance you refer to your local speech and language therapy service. In, in order to find that, you can either use a search engine and put in children's speech and language therapy, or you can ask the nursery or school or your GP to help you find the right place to go. So in the first instance, that's what we ask you to do, is refer to the local service and get onto their waiting list for assessment and, if necessary, for therapy. What do they do if they've already done that and they want further support? If you want further support, ideally we'd like you to access your local service first. Typically then, if more support's needed, your speech and language therapist can refer directly to us using this next tab. So this one is for refer a child who has an NHS SLT and this one is refer a child who has an independent or private SLT. And in both those occasions, your speech and language therapist can refer directly to us to have that specialist assessment if more support's needed. And what happens then is that we involve your local speech and language therapist in the assessment. That means that any advice and recommendations we give can be carried out locally if that's possible or if you're being referred for something like an intensive programme, one of our specialist groups, then we will apply for funding for your child to attend that group with the local speech and language therapist's agreement. And they will support that referral and application. What about if there is no service for children who stammer in their area? If there isn't any speech and language therapy service for children who stammer in your area, you can go to your GP and the GP can make a referral to us directly through this tab here. And again, we will do an assessment, give you some immediate advice, and if therapy is required, we will then apply for funding for that therapy through your GP. And that could be individual therapy for under sevens, 8 to 14s, young people who stammer 15 plus, and that could be individual therapy or group therapy. You might also choose to come to us directly privately. Um, you can refer your child here for a private assessment with us, um, and following that, if you're interested, private therapy. You don't need a referral um, from your speech and language therapist for this. And this private route would be particularly important if you live abroad, as you are not able to access the NHS team at that point. 
um, or if you have just decided that you want to um, pay for the therapy and um, opt into that private route. Finally, if you're an adult who lives in Camden or Islington, you can refer yourself directly. Or if you're an adult living elsewhere, you or your GP can refer yourself and then we will be in touch with you to tell you about next steps. Should we just mention the helpline? Mm. Yes, that's helpful. Um, so you can get in touch with us via our helpline. Um, every day there will be a dedicated slot where a therapist um, will go through the, our helpline log and give you a call and you can get in touch with us that way. Yeah, And that's a good way of talking to a therapist about what to do next, how to help your child in the meantime while you're waiting and uh, to signpost you to lots of different resources. So we hope this has been really helpful to you. Feel free to call us if you need more support. Um, we want to be as helpful as possible. Thank you.